Hey everyone, welcome back to Wood Hacks. I'm James with Microvellum, and this is part two of our mini series on 2D drawing instructions. This is gonna be a good one, so grab a snack and let's get hacking. Thanks for sticking around. As mentioned in part one, this mini series is gonna focus on adding hinges to our 2D elevations and sections. And so in this episode, we're gonna be adding some global controls and parameters to help automate this process. I've got a lot I wanna show you, so let's dive into it. All right, so we're gonna be adding three prompts to our globals that will help us control our drawing instructions. Those are draw hinges and sections, typical section direction, and draw hinges in elevations. These will allow us to turn them off or on for a project, a room, or a spec group. And typical section direction will help us get better results by turning the drawings off on one door products when the hinges are on the opposite side. After that, we'll continue with building some automation by adding two columns to our global lookup table hinges. These columns will be used to reference our drawing block names for our elevations and sections. With this setup, although I'll be using generic drawing blocks, will allow you to create individual blocks for all the different hinges so you can get more detail if you want. I'm gonna be doing everything at the library level, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can, as practice, do this at a project level first. Just pay attention to the red or black bar across the top. Red equals library, black equals project. Note that in my setup, I only have one global file. If you happen to have more, you'll need to make these changes to all your global files. Adding new prompts is quick and simple. Browse to the category where you want to add them, right click and select add new variable. I've added these to the 2D product sections and 2D product elevations categories. If you notice, however, they were all added as value entry prompts. This can be changed quickly as well by right clicking and selecting show properties. I'll include some screenshots of the properties for these in our community forums post. Now that these are set up, let's go ahead and add the columns to our lookup table. With lookup table hinges selected, I'm gonna add, not insert, the new columns. If you click insert, you're gonna cause formulas throughout the library to reference incorrect cells. So don't do that. While here, you can also rename the columns. Column nine will be used for our elevation blocks and column 10 will be used for the section blocks. We could also add the names into the cells through this window, but there's a much faster way. So I'm just gonna close out of the tables, click OK in the globals, and get back to our spec groups. This time, I'm gonna open Workbook Designer by clicking on the spreadsheet icon. We're working in the G workbook, so I'm gonna maximize that and then select the lookup table hinges in the dropdown. I'm gonna populate column nine with our block name. Since I'm setting this up to use a generic drawing, I'm just gonna drag this down for all the hinges except the institutional hinges. I'll give those a different name. Back at the top in column 10, we're gonna do something special in a segment I like to call Fun with Functions. With our cell selected, I'm gonna click the function button and then select the if function. For our logical test, we wanna know if we are using straight hinge plates. If this is true, we wanna use our straight hinge plate drawing. And if this is false, we wanna use our wing plate drawing. Finally, click insert and <laughs> We've got an if statement. And that'll do it for Fun with functions. All right, 
game show aside, I'm gonna drag this down and I'll wrap it up by adding the block name for our institutional hinges. And that's the last step we're gonna focus on in this episode. In part three, we're gonna be adding prompts to our products using Library Designer. Oh yeah. So for a quick recap, we added three new prompts to our global variables for controlling our drawing instructions. And we added two columns to our lookup table hinges and populated them with our drawing block names. If you have any questions on this, please post those on our community forums or if you'd like some additional help, schedule some training by contacting your account manager. That's it for part two of our Wood Hacks mini series on 2D drawing instructions. Time for you to hack away. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in part three. Okay, before we get, okay. So we're gonna be adding three, and that's the last step we're gonna focus on in part, three new global variables for controlling our drawing it.